the natural world can be both a beautiful and unforgiving place. While our days can be full of joy and kindness, this can be taken away from us at any moment. For lurking in the shadows of humanity is a powerful force that can flip our worlds upside down in the blink of an eye. The unforeseen phenomenon is Mother Nature. One thing we know for sure is we have absolute no control over the incredible power of nature. At any point, a flood or tornado can wreak havoc on our life. But one event tends to sit above all else in terms of destructional ability. Events that summon the power of a nuclear bomb. Yes, we are referring to volcanic eruptions. Join us on this journey as we dive into the belly of the beast and discuss the most powerful volcanic eruption in Earth's history. These truly destructive events are some of the most devastating natural cataclysms and have the power to comply change in the landscape of our planet. This is a video that you won't want to miss. The Eruption of Tambora, Indonesia Over 200 years ago, the small Indonesian island of Samboa would soon become the center of a devastating cataclysmic event. As the islanders went about their day, what they never expected would soon become a reality. One faithful day on April 10th, 1850 would forever change the course of history for the world. Five days before, small tremors had been shaking the ground around the active volcano, Mount Tambora. This was accompanied by dense flows of lava spewing out from the center of the crater toward the ground below. While such events are typical when it comes to active volcanoes, no one was prepared for the eruption that was to follow. All of a sudden, on the 10th of April, a blast that seemed to shake the entire Earth shattered the volcano. This was the beginning of the eruption on Mount Tambora, the largest volcanic event in recorded history. Approximately 175 cubic kilometers of ash and debris exploded upwards. Rivers of incandescent ash ran down the sides of the mountain and incinerated everything they came into contact with. Grasslands were scorched black, forests burned to the ground, and the shock waves from the blast mustered up terrifying tsunamis that swept across the entirety of the Java Sea. The inconceivable effects brought on by the blast, lava flow, and tsunamis killed an estimated 10,000 islanders instantaneously, and the homes for nearly 40,000 people were destroyed. The whole event only lasted around three days, but during the peak of the eruption, it would have been throwing out around 500 kilograms of material per second. During the initial explosion of any volcano, an immense amount of energy is released. But the force recorded at Tambora in 1815 was unlike anything the world had witnessed since records began. It can be confusing to explain just how powerful the eruption really was, as we're talking about numbers the mind cannot really fathom. But what we can do is try to paint a picture in your mind by comparing to something like TNT. Researchers have suggested that the Tambora explosion was equal to around 33 billion tons of TNT being set off simultaneously. To further understand just how devastating this was, it's equal to around 2.2 million little boys, also known as the first atomic bomb. Words cannot fathom how terrifying the eruption of Mount Tambora must have been for those living in the area. It's even been suggested that the amount of energy produced by the explosion could power the majority of the United States for one year. Before the eruption, Tambora was a volcano that stood around 4,300 meters high. But after its enormous explosion, it was reduced to approximately 2,850 meters, and at its core, a huge depression can be found. This was the result of the volcano collapsing in on itself. The deep crater is around one kilometer deep, meaning that the volcano lost at least a few kilometers of evolution in a matter of days. 
a truly remarkable and startling aspect that shows just how powerful Mother Nature can be. The Effect on the World The immediate effects of Tambora decimated the island of Samoa and its neighboring nations. On top of the massive amount of deaths and destruction, thousands of people would go on to perish from starvation. Mount Tambora ejected so much ash that the sky turned dark and blocked sunlight from hitting the ground. This killed off many of the crops in the region. It was as if a biblical prophecy of the apocalypse was now upon the Indonesian island. Black smug fell from the sky in a horrible manner, burying towns and villages. So much fell that the weight began collapsing homes. But this was not all. Vast amounts of aerosols were released during the explosion, and as they rose into the sky, they began mixing with the atmospheric gases, further prohibiting the amount of sunlight that could reach the Earth's surface. As a result of this, crops could not grow, and famine and disease began spreading like wildfire across the Indonesian islands. But it wasn't just the islands of Southeast Asia that suffered. The spreading of the ash had immense effect on the surrounding world, with the consequences being felt thousands of miles away. So much that it would go on to reduce the average global temperature by as much as 3 degrees Celsius. These effects would be felt as far away as North America and Western Europe, where periods of heavy snow and extreme frost lasted throughout the summer. Such cold weather led to crop failures in these countries around the world in 1816 an event that has been since referred to as the year without a summer. It has been estimated that deaths from famine and grain shortages accompanied by crop failure ads due to the Mount Tambora eruption likely surpassed over 100,000 people. The years that followed. The Tambora eruption led to a vast array of both minor and major climatic events. The aftermath was recorded by various artists of the time who began noticing dramatic changes in weather patterns. One artist, William Turner, recorded such events in this unique painting during this era, with many portraying strange sunsets that were undoubtedly brought on by the volcanic event. Scientists were about to use paintings such as those of Caspar David of Germany to measure the amount of aerosols in the air in the years following Tambora's eruption. One picture created between 1818 and 1820 captured vivid red and oranges of past eruption skies, which would seem beautiful if we didn't know the initial cause. But while these were mere minor changes to the world, unfortunately, this was accompanied by significant events that almost crumbled entire nations. These effects were documented around the world, where major cultures of the time struggled because of the faithful events that occurred in Indonesia. One area that suffered to an incredible degree was China's Yunnan province. The effects led to a particular devastating famine. One scholar of the era wrote, Samish corpse lay unmourned on the roads. Mothers sold their children or killed them out of mercy, and human skeletons wandered the fields feeding on white clay. Another devastating after effect that ran rampant through India was the spread of cholera. Before Tambora, the disease was mostly confined to the Ganges Delta of India, specifically Bengal. But the eruption changed local climates and even stopped a monsoon season in various parts of India, which is thought to have resulted in a new strain of cholera. The particular nasty strain of the disease was able to spread quicker and easier. Between 1819 and 1820, it moved out of Bengal and into Thailand and Burma. Just 10 years later, it spread to Western Europe and even North America. Even today, the disease infects around 4 million people and kills close to 150,000 per year. It is safe to say that no one could have expected the long-term devastation that one volcanic eruption could cause around the entire world. With all these considered, we can see why the Tambora volcanic eruption is still considered the most devastating ever recorded. The lives that were lost in both the initial explosion and the years that followed remain a testament to the true power of Mother Nature, an invisible force that at any moment 
has the capacity to destroy hundreds of thousands of lives. By the way, you can find out what happened in a 9.2 Richter earthquake in our video on our channel. Let us know what you think about this video. Have you heard of the Mount Tambora eruption? Did you know about the widespread devastation it caused? And do you think we'll ever witness such a terrifying volcanic eruption again? Leave all your thoughts in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more videos on this catastrophic event that have shaken humanity throughout history, be sure to hit the subscribe button for weekly videos. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.